This is the Inline Querier Transformer. It builds a temporary database of tables from incoming features in the middle of an FME workflow. Then, it executes SQL queries against them and returns the results as new features. The Inline Querier is related to the Feature Merger. A Feature Merger can join just two streams of data, so if you want to join more streams than that, you end up with a cascading chain of Feature Mergers. The Inline Querier is an efficient replacement for this. It has the ability to do joins across multiple streams of data, resulting in a significant performance boost. The Inline Querier can use the full power of SQL across any number of tables and columns, rather than being limited to joining on a single attribute as with the Feature Merger. When you add one, it initially has no input or output ports. We'll have to configure it to define a table and a query in order to give it ports. Any number of tables can be created, and any number of queries can be specified, giving this transformer unlimited streams of input and output. Let's get this CSV file of libraries and this GML file of city building locations as our input ports. The inline querier is especially useful for SQL enabling sources like these that don't inherently have SQL abilities. Note that it's possible here to rename the input ports, but we'll leave them as is. Next, we'll define a query on our data. This Generate button creates an output port with a default select statement, but we'll create our query manually. So we'll select all from buildings and libraries, where libraries address equals the building address, and the number of computers in the libraries is greater than 10. To help you out, there's a hot link to a detailed SQL reference under the SQL function accordions. So we join the features on the address, which acts as a unique ID, and we get the libraries with more than 10 computers. This query becomes an output port, which we'll call computer locations and we'll leave the geometry as first feature. This indicates that the output geometry is going to come from the first feature. You can also choose to aggregate all of the records. For performance reasons, you should define only the columns you need for filtering or joining. Let's do that for the input ports up here. The rest of the attributes will get carried over in the FME feature content column which I'm retrieving anyway through my select all statement. We'll click OK and connect everything together with an inspector. Then we'll run it so we can look at our output. You can see the point locations from the GML file are merged with the library data from the CSV file. If we click on a point, we can see the attributes of this library, including how many computers it has. So when should you use the inline querier? For the reasons I mentioned earlier, the inline querier is desirable over the feature merger when you require more than one join. If you only need one join, however, the feature merger is still a good choice. This transformer is also related to the SQL creator and SQL executor. If the data supports SQL queries, use the SQL Creator or SQL Executor transformers, since the work can be done on the data before entering the workflow. However, the inline querier is useful for applying SQL to a data source that doesn't inherently support SQL capabilities. So that's how FME's inline querier transformer can help you apply SQL queries to arbitrary streams of data. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out more feature demos on the FME channel.